taxable income computation. And in our class today, we are going to look at how we compute the, the income of an employee in an organization. And in this particular case, we are going to look at the basic salaries and other benefits which are enjoyed by the employees in, in an organization. And in this particular case, we have to follow the steps in uh, computing in order to get the correct answer in the employment income at the end of the uh, lesson. So, um, under normal circumstances, we start with the basic salary, which in our case will give it the value X. So always make sure that in all most of the equation, you will find that uh, it is at the first line. It will be at the first line of uh, the equation. And in my case, you find that uh, it will be at this particular point. Then after that, after get the basic salary, the next step, if the equation involves that uh, the individual was the provided with a motor vehicle. A motor vehicle is always a different motor vehicles have different rating. So, in that particular case, you will go back to the first page of the equation paper provided in order to get the value of the rating of that particular vehicle. You will find that uh, the rating will always be at this particular point. We have uh, up to 120 cc, which will be given at a month and annually. Then we have uh, 1,201 1, to 1,500 cc, which will always be also be given the value in terms of the monthly and uh, the annual. Then in that particular case, in my rating, I have the cc. Then that particular question will be given the cost of that particular car. So, in the term of the cost, you will get the 24% of the cost of that particular car. And our answer will be Y. So, the CC is the X, where the cost, which is a computed 24%, is my Y. So, in this particular case, you will pick the one with the highest value and you bring it at this particular side. Then, after that, we assume that uh, that particular employee is provided with a house. That particular house, for example, has a continuous supply of water. So we have to compute uh, the value for the water. So in that particular case, we have the quantified amount, which is our X. Then we have the actual amount. In the case of quantified amount, we don't have the reason to worry, it will be provided at the equation paper at the bottom. In my case, it is at the bottom of the page. We can see that uh, we have water, we have the monthly rate which is uh, 200 and we have the annual rate which is uh, 2400. So in the case of uh, the water, the one at the, at the beginning of the page, you will include it at this particular point as our X. Then after that, you will be given the value of the amount of water which was used in that particular month, which is in my case is my Y. So in those particular two answers, we have the quantified and we have the actual amount. You will pick the one with the highest value to be at this particular point. Note, you pick the highest between the quantified and the actual amount. Then after that, we also assume that uh, that particular house is also supplied with a, a continuous supply of electricity. So the same case, you'll go back to the equation paper, it will be given at the beginning of the page. It will be given at the beginning of the page, at the bottom of the part. As you can see, we have water, then we have the electricity. Then we have the quantified amount monthly, which is 900, and we have a annually rates, which is 10,800, which will be given at the beginning of, uh, of the equation paper. So we have the quantified amount, which will be extracted from the equation paper. Then we have the actual amount. The actual amount will be extracted from the equation itself. So we will also be given also the value of the actual amount which was used on that particular case. So in between the 
quantified and the actual amount, you will pick the one with the highest value as I shown on this particular page. So we have x and x, which is my highest value between the quantified and the actual amount. So in my case, I have the basic salary, I have the motor vehicle, the one with the highest value, I have the water, the side with the highest value, then we have the electricity, the one with the highest value. So in this particular case, I have this one, this one, and this other one, and this other one, and my total is XY, which is the total of uh, this one, this one, this one, and this other one. Then the next point is uh, the housing benefits. This one is quite uh, completed different as compared to the electricity and the water. So in this particular case, in the housing computation, how will, the first step is to get the 15% of the total, this one. The 15% of the total to be at that particular point. So, I assume that uh, the 15% of the XY, for example, is A. Then in that particular uh, question, it will have uh, the value of the rental market value. Which, for example, I assume the value is B. So, in between the 15% of the XY and the rental market value, I will pick the highest. And in my case, the highest I name it as a Z. Then, still on the same question, you will also be given also the, the nominal rent. The nominal rent of that particular house. So, I will subtract the Z, which is the highest value between the X, between the 15% of XY and the rental market value. I left the, the nominal rent, which I have named as the X, X. So, the difference between the two, I have called them the X, Z. So after that, you we had the total which was xy plus xz to give us the xyz, which will be my employment income. So thank you for watching this particular video and uh, subscribe for more videos.